In this video, I will show you how to download CI file. Go to the browser, type crystallography open database, then click on this website. On the left hand side, you will find option for the search. Click over here. And this page gives you different way through which we can search for CI file. I will show you one of the way. So let's consider an example of CDWO4. So it has elements CD, W and the O. The number of distinct element minima and maxima is three minima element and three maximum element. Now click on the same. So it will take you to the search result. On this page, you will find different results which are reported by different research group. Here you will see a link for the CIF file, which has a formula of CDW04, but it has a different space group. So for example, the space group one and the second is different, whereas for fifth one is different. And as the space groups are different, the lattice constants also are different. So now the question is, which CI file is suitable for our XRD diffractogram? I will show you a way how to figure out which CI file is suitable for our XRD diffractogram. So let's click on this CI file and it will automatically download it. It has a space group of P1 to C1. And then let's consider the second example. It has a P11 to B. And then the fifth one, it has a space group of I41A2. Go to the download folder. These are the three CI files. For simplicity, I will give them name as A, B, and C. Now go to the Vista software, open the software, go to the download folder, drag the CI file. On the top side, you can see if you click on these files, you will see different units. Use your mouse and you can drag, move this one. So you can see the 3D format of this unit set. Over here, here you will see the unit cell for B and C looks pretty similar, but for A is totally different. Now what you need to do is go to utility, click on the powder diffraction pattern. In this case, we need to give the condition number of wavelength is 1 and the wavelength lambda is 1.54. This is a copper key alpha. If you are dif using different wavelength, then you just type those number over here and hit the calculate button. It will generate the reflection list. Here you can find the values for 2 theta and respective plane. And in the plot, you can see the XRD diffractogram created by using this CI file. Now go back and click on the B. Do the same. Go to utility. Click on the powder diffraction pattern. Input the condition. Keep the same wavelength. Hit on the calculate. It will again generate the reflection list for different plane and two theta values and the XRD diffractogram. Do the same for this third one, CI file, go to utility, click on the powder diffraction pattern, go to the condition, reduce it to 1, keep the same wavelength, hit on the calculate, it will generate the reflection list and the plot. So now we can see, we can compare these three plots with each other. Here the plot from B and C looks pretty similar, but the plot from A is entirely different. So now what you can do is you plot your XRD diffractogram in origin software and then you can check the reflection list to theta values and compare these values with your XRD diffractogram as well as you can check the plot and the peak intensity for each peak and compare with your XRD diffractogram and through this way you can figure out which is the correct CIF file to be used to perform the retrude refinement which is the next step. If you are not familiar with the retrude refinement you can check out my few other videos. The links are given in the description box. I hope through this you learn how to download CIF file as well as how to figure out which CI file is correct for your own XRD diffractogram. Please hit the bell icon button and do like, share and subscribe.